Don't worry, this is completely normal. Though you've probably never seen a console update like this before. Oh, it's finally Christmas come late for me. My Atari VCS 2020 version is finally here. The last Atari I unwrapped at Christmas was sadly the Atari 7800 and well, that's a memory I would rather much leave in the past. But now if only I would get my confirmation that my At Games Legends pinball is ready to go, that would really start off 2021 with a bang. With the new VCS, I believe my expectations are right where they should be. They're not too high, but they're also not too low, riding that fine middle line. And though I don't remember signing up to be a beta tester of the final product, the purpose of this video, however, is not to tear down the machine too much, though we will get to that somewhat a little bit later when we look at the Atari store, but instead to unbox and take a look at Atari's latest nostalgia grab, I mean home console, and I say, let's be honest, as I'm the brutally honest gamer, and this is unboxing the Atari VCS 2020 and looking at the Atari store. This video is a part one of three series on the VCS, as I wanted to focus on individual aspects of the system, giving it, hopefully, a proper go through and not skimming over or missing important issues entirely. With that being said, let's see what we got. Okay, so here is the Atari VCS 2020. Um, the classic controller. And the console itself. Now, I will say that this is much heavier than I expected it to be, um, given the, the size of the unit itself. But let's take a look inside and see exactly what we have. Okay, so that sleeve comes off. Revealing a nice box with the Asteroids graphics on it. And the Atari logo. And there she is. So nice little thing of foam on the top and the first thing that you see is the unit itself in plastic and a cardboard sleeve for just extra protection. So we'll get that, put that off to the side and let's go. Okay, so the Atari VCS 800 Onyx Edition. So this is a little bit interesting. Um, the I did not have the money at the time to get the collector's edition, but the one thing that I that I noticed was that the original Atari VCS 2600, the more common edition was the wood grain, and the all black Vader edition was the variant. So now in 2020, it's actually backwards where the more common edition is the Black Onyx and the collector's edition is the wood grain. So that's a little bit interesting. Um, but overall, it's a really nice looking system. It's sleek uh, and I do like the overall design. The one thing that I don't like, which is just I begged for Atari to put to put a cartridge slot in it uh, whenever it was um, in the campaign phase and yeah unfortunately they just uh, didn't care about that which I can understand why it was completely a nostalgia request um, to be able to see Atari carts back on the shelves in stores but um, the front of it has just a USB port here and then there's one over here as well. Um, they look to be both 3.0s. There's nothing on the sides. And then on the back, you have your um, fan vents. And then you have two more USBs, uh, of which they both look to be 3.0. Your HDMI, your Ethernet, and your power supply, and your power button. So overall, 
Uh, it's got some nice heft to it. It does not feel cheap. Um, it's like a matte on shine. So it's the uh, the ridges are matte, so they hide the fingerprints pretty well. While the in between the ridges are a nice shiny glossy black, a really nice contrast. Uh, the lines are are sharp, and everything looks and feels like a well put together unit. So I'm very satisfied with that. Very nice. All right, so let's see what else do we got in here. We got power cord. Oh wait, that ain't power cord. Oh, that's the neat. Okay, so we got an HDMI. Let's take a look at this. All right, so comes with um, a six foot HDMI, I believe. Um, as I am nearly six foot, and it is my arm's length. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, last thing I bought with an HDMI came with this worthless like like foot and a half cable um, But okay. Yeah, cool now. There's the power plug there is the power adapter um, <laughs> All right, well one thing notably missing is an instruction manual. Now, I will admit I have not bought a console in a very long time since PS4 Pro, uh, but I'm pretty sure that those came with instruction manuals. So, yeah, yeah, there is absolutely no literature in here whatsoever for anything Atari uh, related, no upcoming product, um, no instructions, no quick setup, no nothing. All right, well that's pretty uh, that's pretty interesting. We'll throw that off to the side. Now here's what I'm really interested in uh, more than the console itself, uh, believe it or not, is uh, this classic controller because I have a feeling this thing's going to be really fun. Uh, so let's open this thing up. Okay, so I just noticed something, and I think I may have missed this before. Here's the setup instructions printed on the box. So, okay, yeah, that take it for what it is, but yeah, I, I, I am not a fan, a fan of that. Okay, so sleeve off, and then just like the uh, console itself, it has an Atari VCS branded cardboard with the Asteroid graphics. Uh, again, this has got some weight to it as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. And again, it's packed in plastic. I guess I don't want to pull on it too hard, but I don't really know of any other way of getting it out unless I just completely destroy. Oh, before I get too far, again, your, your instructions are printed on the box. All right, so one thing I wanted to, I wanted to say real quick is I had been using the classic controller um, with the, the USB cord the entire time. So then I tried, because another issue that people have been having is, is getting the pair um, Bluetooth. So then I tried to get the controller to be um, paired with Bluetooth. Now, with there being no instructions other than the quick start on the box, which is completely worthless, the only way I could get this thing to connect Bluetooth is when you hold the thing down, this icon here, it'll flash. It'll sit there and flash forever. I had to tap on this button here, and then it finally connected. Again, nowhere, anywhere. I, I don't, nobody would know to do that because there's no instructions with the piece and the quick start is worthless. So something needs to change with that. All right, okay, so that's it. No, no other internal paperwork, nothing. All right, so the classic controller. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this right off the, the bat. It does feel pretty cheap. Uh, to say to be quite honest with you and that's what I try to do in my videos is 
is be as upfront and honest as possible. Um, I don't like how you can kind of just see how it just it just it seems very loose. Um, I guess that's the the best way to describe it. Um, but the knob is meant to be or the handle is meant to be pushed down as a button um, to be used as a joystick as well as it's to be used as a spinner um, which my uh, next video will go more depth into the controller as far as using it with games um, but visually it looks great Feeling it though, not so great. So that's my initial first impression. Hopefully my mind gets changed whenever I actually use it. So you have your fire button here, and then you have another fire button on the side. You have your USB mini uh, micro charging port. Then you have your back button and your menu button, and then your Atari button here. So that's it for unboxing so i'm gonna get this hooked up i'm gonna go through all the setup um i am going to list some tips on just from feedback from some of the people in the discord uh, for the vcs because uh, there have been some challenges there have been some challenges getting this thing hooked up um so I will leave a list of suggestions on how to get it hooked up with the least amount of, of problems. I'm going to try these steps myself and then we'll confirm if they all if everything worked good or if I had if I had any issues. Um, so Like, I don't know what any of these are, but that's it. So there's what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14. There's 15 games, one of which is already on. So there's 13 games um, available in the market. That's terrible. Uh, and I'm really shocked. I mean, of all the properties that Atari owns, unless I'm mistaking... They have been making games for PC and other consoles all this time. They couldn't, they couldn't have put some of those of their own properties up on the Atari VCS store to use. Um, they're relying, again, this was my problem that I had all along, is that they're relying on Antstream and this Air console, which I don't even think that's what I'm thinking of but more along the lines of Antstream, where you're gonna probably be playing the majority of that, uh, cause there's tons of games on Antstream, but nothing really too much in the store itself. Uh, so that's pretty disappointing. Um, I, I pre-ordered this on the assumption that Tempest 4000 was going to be available because, well, they showed it, but as you can see, it's clearly not here, so that's an, uh, that's very disappointing. Um, as well as, um, I'll go back and put a picture of all the supposed developers that they had lined up to be to be uh, providing games for the VCS, and to only have 15, technically 14 available at launch is, is not a good way to start it out. Um, so that is fairly, fairly disappointing. However, it's early. I know things are going to get added. I know that they have more to add in January. Um, and I, I understand that they're more trying to work out the bugs with the backers than anything. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I did sign up to be a beta tester. Um, nowhere am I aware of that that was like part of the, the thing was that, well, we're going to send you your console, but you got to beta test it and, and, and stuff like that. I thought this thing was going to be 
you, every system launch has to work out some bugs and then they're patched. But this truly is a, a beta version hardware. Um, but we'll see. Um, as I've always said, I will update as soon as I get updates. I, I may or may not update as new games are released, um, unless it's something that it's like a really must have. But if there's definitely any console updates, uh, I'll certainly get those. And then uh, watch out for part two, where we go in depth with the classic controller and in depth with the gameplay and what exactly we can do with the Atari VCS. So as always, thanks for watching. And until next time.